Morning, 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 morning. Concrete day today. Got a company in to do it for me as well. Cardiff Concrete and Company. Um, yeah, I've got four cubes, about 10 tons, I think it is, of concrete. And the way the weather's been lately, 32, 33 degrees. Not a chance in hell. I've stood by a mixer, mixing up concrete. So, yeah, we've got a concrete company coming in to um, pump it. They've got, they got 50 metres of pump, apparently. So, <coughs> concrete, gap, concrete. The gap there, we've got to put a weed membrane down. And behind me, I've got a load of 20 mil clean stone. Um, kitchen area up there. This is going to be for the island. I got some steel on the floor by here. I'm going to chop into place, give it a bit more reinforcement. And then I got that section by there, which is going to be the steps. But yeah, coming along nicely. Um, yeah, so glad I got a company in to do this because um, it might only take an hour and it'll be no mess and I'll be home by 10 o'clock. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the concrete in. i to leave it over the weekend, because today's 33, tomorrow's 33 or something. And next week then we'll put a weed membrane in the middle and uh, loads of 20 mil stone, and then at least we can drive over it. Right, until then, I've got some steel to chop. So we got South Wales concrete um, pumping. They're going to pump it all in. Wagons just pulled up now over there. So we have to excuse me for the glare and turn around so he's going to spin it round now connect it up to the back of that straight into the pump happy campers right let's go hose down the floor a little bit more put a bit of moisture into the ground before the concrete hits it I'm nervous, I'm nervous I always get nervous before concrete comes always get nervous before concrete comes so, there's Ollie, customer's son, very handful, very handy guy, fair play, must admit, big him up, big him up. Um, yeah, so truck's just turned up, um, wet the ground down, I've just put that piece of steel, steel in there, so that's sorted. And fingers crossed is enough now. Well, my original calculation was 70 linear meters, 300 wide, 200 deep. Um, and that was 4.2 cube. The truck only does four cube. There is a patch by there where it's a bit thinner, it didn't have to be as wide. So fingers crossed, I got the right man. We shall soon find out. <laughs> nervous, nervous. Right, here we go. So I'm gonna try film just a little bit, but obviously I'm gonna be really busy. Are you? But yeah. Oh, I thought he was gonna be really busy. Oh, <laughs> I think we're all gonna be really busy. So yeah, that's gonna start pumping in shortly. Here we go. Um, there we go, it's coming in. Oh, nervous. Nerves, nerves, nerves. Uh, no, up to these pins. Oh, right. Oh, absolutely. Manic hour. But anyway, concrete in down there. Concrete in there. Concrete in that bit. Oh, let me just climb over here. Oh. We got that in there, up against the wall, and all we had left was that bit. Awesome calculating by me, pat on the back. Oh dear, I'm shattered. Imagine doing all that with a wheelbarrow, mixing up. Not a chance in hell. But still be all the way over there, maybe poured two meters. Well, there's 17 meters to do but yeah well chef with the calculation calculations only work if 
you take out exactly what you need. It's so easy to make a calculation, oh, that long by that long, that wide, but it all comes down to how good your excavation is. If your excavation is to the dimensions you calculated, then it should work. Like today, it has worked. So, yeah, it was 4.2 I needed, and it did four. So, it's not exactly a point two, but it's all right. There or thereabouts. Right, I'm going to go make sure it looks pretty now. Get it as flat as possible with my trowel, and then I can have a cup of tea. Little wait to the camera. Bye. Thanks, guys. Much appreciate. They yeah. really sorted me out. So, yeah, South Wales Concrete Pumping. If you need them, give them a bell. Top guy. Lovely. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you what. Result. I'm not quite sure what time it is. But concrete started pumping about half eight. It might only be half nine, ten. Not long. Ten tons done. All in. So yeah, I wanted to do some filming as I was doing it. But it just can't. It's just so, so busy. So yeah, a little pile there left over, spare. So Ollie's wetting it down now. Um, then when it's all solid Monday, then we can turn it over, break it up. We got loads of hardcore coming anyway. We can mix it into that lot. Oh, <sighs> always a tough day at the office for the concrete team. So yeah, so we let this go off now. Let me turn the camera around. Let this go off over the weekend. Um, fill up the gap weed membrane in it first, fill up the gap and then we can at least drive over it then with the dump truck and digger if need be right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video of concreting Mosier helped loads actually, saying that, I'm going to set the Mosier back up now and just take some datums and just see how well everything worked out so, back shortly actually, change your mind about putting the Mosier on it I'll do that Monday Otherwise, we're going to get the bottom of the motor all dirty and sticky and congruity. So, we won't be doing that. So, have a good weekend. Hopefully, it's not going to be too hot for you. Actually, check this out. We're so lucky. In the shade for ages. Sweet. Right, until then, catch you next week. Later.